Hello! Have you ever considered the Bowers & Wilkins 700 S3 speakers? Or are you curious to learn more about these beautiful speakers or the awesome technology used to create this typical Bowers & Wilkins house sound? This video is for you. What's all the hype about? For me, the 700 S3 speakers from Bowers & Wilkins are just a perfect blend between super clear and detailed sound and of course, stunning looks. These speakers can easily blend into a modern room, no matter the size. If the room is small, go for one of the smaller speakers, like the 707 S3 or the 706 S3. But if the room is bigger and you want even more impressive soundstage, go for the bigger brother, like the 703 S3, or of course, the magnificent 702 S3. Something really impressive is that the compact 707 S3 actually has a lot of common with the 702 S3. For instance, they both use the continuum-based driver. They both have the carbon dome tweeter with a breakup point at 47,000 Hz, which is just insane. The super stiff and resonance damped cabinet with a slight curve in front. And of course, a high quality crossover with extra heatsink. The 700 S3 series offer eight different speakers and in Haifa Klubben, we offer three different finishes. Let's start with the smallest one. The 707 S3. To put it simply, mighty impressive for its size. No, you do not get a whole lot of deep rumbling bass, but instead you get studio quality mid-range and the amount of details is just breathtaking. If you connect a subwoofer like the Bowers & Wilkins ASW610 or the Bowers & Wilkins DB4, you truly get a full-powered stereo system that packs a whole lot of punch. Next up is the 706 S3. This one has a lot in common with the younger brother 707 S3, but it has a bigger cabinet and of course a bigger driver. You go from a 5-inch driver to a 6.5-inch driver and this with the bigger cabinet really helps a lot with pronouncing the lower mid-range and of course the deeper bass. But for me, the 705 S3 is probably one of the best compact speakers in the whole world. The tweeter on top technology is just something else. No, this is not a microphone, but a tweeter. And wow, it helps a lot with stereo separation, depth and nuances. The way the tweeter is isolated within its own aluminium closure to separate it from the rest of the cabinet so the bass and mid-range driver doesn't interfere how the tweeter acts is just genius. This tweeter housing technology is called Nautilus and is straight out from the speaker, the Nautilus. I also find the 705 S3 compared to its younger brother easier to place in a room and it also offers a wider sweet spot for listening. Now that we have seen the three compact speakers in the 700 S3 series, let's take a closer look at the floor standing speakers. And Bowers & Wilkins even offers a compact floor standing speaker, the 704 S3. What's not to like about this one? It offers more volume, better bass extension and a super tight and precise response in a clean looking cabinet that fits nicely into small spaces. And now we are ready to look at the bigger boys. And 703 S3 is just that. With the same elongated Nautilus tweeter from the 705 S3, but with more cabinet volume, two six and a half inch aerofoil base driver, and a 6-inch continuum mid-driver using their awesome biometric suspension FST system for a huge soundscape, punch and a mid-range so clear that you can hear subtle nuances in every instrument. If the 703 S3 is not enough for you and you want even more of everything and you want something that is even easier to place in your room, then... Okay! <sighs> The 702 S3 is for you. This beast of a speaker offers even one more 6.5 inch aerofoil bass driver. It has a huge down firing bass port for even easier speaker placement. And it's simply the best sounding Bowers & Wilkins speaker without going into their flagship series, the 800 D4. 
let's not forget about the home cinema enthusiasts out there. Bowers & Wilkins even offered two center channel speakers in the 700 S3 series. HDM72, which is precise, clear, with a really focused upper mid-range, and of course, the HGM71 with the Nautilus tweeter on top, a 5-inch Continuum FST mid-driver, and two 5-inch aerofoil bass drivers. Loud and clear vocals, even in the most busy fighting scenes. It just punches through everything with ease, and come on, it looks friggin' sexy. Oh, and by the way, in Haifa Klubben, we offer these speakers in three different finishes, we have the high gloss black finish, a timeless satin white finish, and this high end looking mocha wood veneer finish. Let's talk about the sound. And the 700 S3 series from Bowers & Wilkins do have the typical house sound that Bowers & Wilkins is known for. I am going to sound like a broken record now, but mid-range punch and clarity is the easiest way to describe the sound. The well-pronounced mids and detailed top is perfect for hearing everything as clear and unmasked as almost possible. The bass is not super loud and over the top, but it's tight, detailed and very well controlled. I personally don't like the term as the artist intended, but if there is a hi-fi speaker brand that can use this term to some extent, it must be Bowers & Wilkins simply because so much music is produced on speakers like this. If you like a more live and warm sound, you may find them a little bit too honest, bright, maybe even a little bit sterile. And I have to be honest, these speakers do need a whole lot of amplification to sound really, really good. In the end, it's impossible to judge a speaker from YouTube, so I really recommend that you visit one of our Hi-Fi Klubben stores and check them out for yourself. Grab a coffee, listen to some nice music, and have a great day. Cheers!